talk about the goal of sampling. The big goal of sampling, whenever you're trying to do sampling, is to avoid bias, right? We want to avoid bias. And the whole reason is we want our sample to be representative, right, of our population, right? Bias means that our sample is not representative, that somehow um, it, our sample is, is giving us values that are too small or too large or skewed in some way away from the population. So maybe the population mean is five, but our sample is consist our sampling method gives us uh, samples that are consistently too low or maybe too high, right? So what we want is um, a sample when we use the sampling method, um, that this method would give us sort of the even distribution, right? So bias is uh, getting samples that are consistently too low or high for population, right? Now, just because a sampling method results in a sample that's a little bit different from the population doesn't mean it's a bad sampling method. If it consistently gives you bad samples, that's a bad sampling method, that's a bias, right? But because of chance, whenever we draw from a population randomly, if it's truly randomly, we will get some spread around the mean. What we want from a good sampling method is that those samples, right, that sampling method, those samples reflect the actual uh, distribution of the population. For instance, let's say we had this uh, vat of marbles, right, and it's a mix of red and white, and it's an even mix of red and white. Um, but let's say we have um, a sampling method that only takes from sort of this side. Right? Um, what we really want is a sampling method that goes sort of around randomly and takes samples from sort of everywhere instead of just from one side. Um, so that's what we mean by bias, when the actual method itself is biased. All right, so where does uh, the bias come from? Well, the one that I mentioned is that bias can come from the actual sampling method. Bias from method of sampling. And what we mean by that is that your actual method of picking the sample is somehow biased. And I'll give you some examples um, in the next slide. The other way that you could get bias is actually sort of bad news because um, even when you have a good sample, so this is like, boom, we have a good sample, you might still have bias, right? And that might be because of something like response bias. So this would be um, because somehow the way that you're collecting the data or somehow something is going wrong in the way that the data is being measured. So uh, bias from method of collecting or measuring uh, your cases or variables, right? So those kind of biases are, are also dangerous because that's, even when you have a unbiased sample, you might still have bias that comes from response bias, right? So we'll first talk about sampling bias and then we'll talk about response bias.